I thought she wanted to spice things up in our relationship until she admitted she was pregnant with another man's child now. I'm left picking up the pieces of a love that was built on lies my girlfriend, 28, and I, 26, have been in a relationship for three years and a few months now, but not long ago she started sliding in hints before telling me that she wants to try an open or poly relationship. She asked about this before at the start of our relationship and I thought that I made it clear that I was a monogamous and not interested in that. Now she's asking again and saying how we could both even share a girlfriend, or we could be open and hook up with whomever. I told her no and asked her why she was pushing this again. She said that it could be a way to spice up our sex life and I said something like, okay, well I'm not into that, you know that, so no go. She got agitated and said to just try it, which pissed me off and again said no. This conversation happened a layle over two weeks ago and she still seems to be pissed off about it, not really talking to me and sleeping in guest room. I've tried to get her to talk to me about it but she just brushes me off and says that it's not important anymore. I've been venting to friends about it and a few of my friends brought up that maybe she's already cheated or is cheating and is trying to cover it up or maybe she has someone in mind that she wants to bang. I doubted it at first but now I wonder because she has been a layle more distant and just overall off even before the whole open relationship talk. We haven't been having sex as often as we used to but I chalked that up to it being because of my hectic work schedule. I'm not sure what to do, I'm afraid that if I start digging that I won't like what I find. Edit I'm going to either snoop on her phone or confront her about it. I love her but I also don't want to be played with. If she's hiding something I will find out from the comments. Comment 1. If you're afraid to dig because you don't like what you'll find, well, that's understandable. I would be too, but it's no good way to live. OP replies, true. I've been debating if I could sneak her phone really quick. Comment 2. She's either already having sex with someone else or has someone she wants to. Did you know she was bi before you started dating? OP replies, I'm bi and she's lesbian. Or as much as I know. She said that she dated a boy in middle and high school but started dating girls in late high school? If my memory serves me right? Update, it's super late but I'm numb. Sobering up and just can't fucking sleep. This fucking sucks but I need to get this off my chest and out my head. So a few days ago I posted about how my geef three years asked me for an open relationship or to try a poly relationship. I actually got to sit her down to talk the next day after posting about it and asked her why she brought it up again. She asked in the past, in the beginning of our relationship, after dating for so long, she repeated that she just wanted to spice up our love life and I asked her, how would that spice things up though? The only one who's gonna find it sexy is you because you know that I'm not into that. She said something about how I should be open-minded about it because so many people wish they had a partner like her that would be okay with them screwing other people. I said yeah, if they were into that then I'd get that. After a layo more back and forth and talking in circles I just said listen, if you want to screw someone else then just say that. However we'll be over. I love you but if you want this then you should go be with someone that would give you what you want cause I can't. I thought that she'd be a layle remorseful or apologize or anything but what she told me. I assume she thought that I just broke up with her because she just got pissed and screamed out oh so we're over. Fine, I've been screwing her guy friend anyways and I'm pregnant. Yeah, my lesbian GF is fucking pregnant by a fucking friend of ours. My hands are shaking just thinking about this again. I tried to hold it together but I just couldn't and I tried to kick her out but she wouldn't leave so I left for a friend's place and have been here over the weekend. My now ex kept calling me but I only answered and told her to get her shit together and move out and go live with the douchebag, who I deleted and blocked because I would lose my shit on him at that time then turned off my phone. I'd turned my phone back on this morning and my ex left messages. I called her to get closure if anything, and asked her how long she said since December when I when I went out of town. I asked if they fucked in my bed and she said yes. I asked if this was the reason for the open relationship BS and she again said yes. Lastly, I asked if she was planning to keep the baby and still stay with me, and she said yes. I just hung up. I've deleted and blocked her on everything for now because I just need to distance myself right now. I'm gonna see if I can break my lease on the app we shared because now that I know that they've been fooling around in there I don't want it anymore. For now though, I'm just chilling at my friends and will probably be here until I can get out of my lease. I have no more tears left, I can't tell if I'm in shock or emotionally broken. I took some time off work but I don't know how I'll ever get back to normal after this. Thanks for the advice from my previous post, Ima try to get some sleep now. From the comments, OOP is advised to get tested and change her passwords etc. In addition, the question of how the baby was supposed to fit into a lesbian relationship is brought up several times. Comment 1, Geez. She's a terrible person and you did the right thing pushing the issue. And I'm amazed and shocked that she thought you were going to be okay raising someone's baby. I'm so sorry you're going through this. OP replies. Thing is that I love kids and she knows that. If and a huge if this was an accidental pregnancy due to us being open I probably would have stayed. It's definitely different in this case obviously. I still can't get over how freaking ridiculous this is. I honestly wish it was a joke. Comment 2A, I mean, what was the plan here? Surprise, I'm pregnant. Like, how did she think she was going to explain that one without outing herself as a cheater? Comment 2 billion, I guess the plan was let's be poly, hoops, got pregnant, but you agreed to being poly so you cannot be mad at me. OOP replies, honestly, that's the only thing that makes sense to me. It was a dumb idea, but I guess it would have worked in her head. Comment 3, 
You might want to get a lawyer and research how child support works in your circumstance. The last thing you want to do is pay for this child, OP replies. Yeah, I'm safe unless I magically started making sperm and grew a member. This actually made me laugh a little because she kind of tried to make me a baby daddy. Laugh to keep from crying as they say new update. OP updates on her profile the 16th of August 2022, one month later. So first things first, thank you all for your support and advice. I really appreciate it. The good news that night I posted my last update, I definitely wasn't in a good headspace, but I allowed myself to grieve for a few days then got right to work. I went and got tested and I'm clean, no HIV or STDs, thank God. I went to my landlord and I told her the situation as well as had a formal letter typed up just in case. She's always been a nice lady and was kind enough to offer me a cheaper apartment that I could move into easily if I wanted to but I decided to just move out of this complex. So I'll need to pay this rent, my ex won't pay her half so. Then my part of the lease will be officially broken. I don't know or care to know if my ex will break or take over the lease but that's on her. I've already got a place lined up and will be rooming with another close friend of mine. Bad news, it was about a day after I posted my last update that my ex just showed up to the friend's house that I was staying at. I don't know how she found out but we do have a pocket full of friends so it's not that hard. I was under the influence and numb and didn't want to see her but she kept pushing it and refused to leave. At first I came out and told her that we should talk outside, then I closed the door behind her. She still refused to leave so I stepped outside to talk to her or she talked and I just stared at her. She started with apologizing and trying to put the blame on me being busy all the time which, yeah I was working a lot but every free time I had was spent with her. Then she said we weren't having enough sex. Then saying that the sex meant nothing with the guy, and then somehow it took a turn to her saying that now we could have family without a paid donor. I just remember going off on her and calling her out for screwing the guy repeatedly, and then trying to cover it up with some bullshit. She started crying and yelling back, but I told her to just go back to a baby daddy and tried to go back inside, but she pulled on my shirt trying to stop me and I sort of pulled away hard to get away. About a day after that, my friend told me that she posted about how she left me for being abusive and that it drove her into the arms of the father of her baby, along with pics of them together apparently. The douchebag even tried to back her up on that bullshit, but almost every mutual friend of ours knew what really happened by then and they absolutely blasted her until she took the post down. Goodbye and good fucking riddance to both of them. I only feel bad that the baby will have such immature parents. Other than that, I'll probably take some time to get away after settling down in my new place. I'm not gonna hold on to that pain anymore. I did love her with all my heart and thought she was my forever, but she betrayed me in a way that I could never imagine. She knew about my past relationship and promised to never hurt me the way my ex did. I guess she didn't lie about that since that ex never cheated on me, lied and manipulated, sure. I'm taking a break from love right now. Maybe I'll get a pet to start my healing journey from here. Now to the next story, story two. Am I the A for ruining my best friend's wedding and losing our friendship because I wore a gold dress to the ceremony? I will link the dress. I put gold in quotation marks because I think it's more bronze orange but maybe I'm splitting hairs in MTA. Some context, my 30F best friend Dan, 30 ma'am, got married to Lauren, 27F, yesterday. Dan and I have been best friends since high school and despite always being platonic with no romantic interests on either side, his now wife Lauren has always disliked me. In their three years of dating I have not been allowed to see Dan alone because she feels that it's suspicious that I want to hang out with him. Honestly I just miss my friend. Despite me being happily married, she's always kept me at arm's length. I always figured this was because she's from a very conservative family. Dan has spoken to her multiple times and after she'll back off for a bit before reverting to complaining about him being friends with a girl again. It's not ideal but she makes Dan happy so I made my peace with it. That brings us to the wedding. Originally I was going to be in the groom's party but Lauren ended up crying saying a wedding is not a place to swap gender roles. Dan was fighting her on this but I told him I'll just attend as a guest and not to choose this hill to die on. The dress code was warm tone garden party and we were encouraged to wear earthy warm colors. I picked out a bronze wash orange dress that I thought fit this perfectly and the style even matched some examples they gave, in short I thought I had nailed it. The wedding went great however at the reception Lauren dragged me aside and said, I cannot believe you would wear gold to my wedding. You're not the first prize you're just fasterisk asterisk king trashy. I was so shocked the moment I just stared at her. She practically screamed at me to leave and she was drawing attention so I grabbed my husband, said goodbye to Dan and left. Dan reached out after and told me he was upset I left his wedding so soon. Lauren's mom has texted me saying I ruined the wedding for her daughter and I'm stupid for wearing a gold dress, she's saying it's as bad as wearing white. I was genuinely not aware this was a thing. I want to reach out to Dan to explain but I don't know if I'm in the wrong here. A A Ada, relevant comments. Any chance you or Dan have a crush on each other? I am happily married and Dan and I would rather eat glass than have anything romantic happen between us. We are just not each other's type and see each other as siblings. I genuinely don't think Dan has ever secretly liked me either. Commenter downvoted.
While I believe you, I have to think Dan has made comments about you around his wife for her to go so nuclear on you. Not to be weird, but how would you rate your attractiveness compared with hers? Are you similar or is there a big gap in your attractiveness? AP, that's hard to answer. We are two totally different people. I think we are both attractive in our own way. I am your Barbie stereotype 5'11", blonde hair with a six-pack. She's a pedotype brunette bombshell with a beautiful tan and a full figure. I'm also a good two inches taller than Dan, hence he's not my type, I'm not his, so it's comparing apples and oranges. But I do get your point. Commenter, have you and Dan ever had a convo about why you aren't allowed to be alone with him? OP, not just me but any woman. She doesn't believe in platonic friendships with the opposite sex. Why does Lauren's mom have your number? Can't you just forward that message to Dan? My guess is the group chat from the hen's party, Lauren didn't have bridesmaids and her mom organized the hen's night with a group text chat. Honestly, my husband told me they were acting crazy. I just needed an outside opinion before I called. Dan so hubby said I should post here. How are you going to be a part of the groom's party if she didn't have any bridesmaids? She technically had her mom as a mo figure, I guess. She stood up there with her and organized the hen's party. But they were just going to go with unequal numbers and in the end, he just had his brother there with him. Update. Wow guys, I genuinely didn't know what to expect posting to strangers on this, but I am so thankful to my husband for suggesting this. I needed a non-biased view on this wearing gold to a wedding issue and now it's clear that that was never the issue many of you asked if the dress I wore stood out and honestly I know I'm biased saying this but I genuinely don't think so. Another girl was wearing the exact same dress but in a dark red which we had a laugh about. Slip dresses are a pretty common wedding guest dress where I am and it was the type of dress that was recommended by the bride. I think many of you were right in saying that it was never about the dress, but how I looked wearing it. I do want to start this update by thanking my husband who suggested I post here and having a ball reading your comments since posting in. Even posting a photo of us this morning with a caption along the lines of my gold prize of a wife I am winning in life thanks to you. Turns out Dan found out pretty quickly what actually happened and called me last night. Apparently Lauren's mum had told him I was really drunk and told Lauren her dress wasn't it, so I was requested to leave. Dan had his suspicions that it was bullshit, tea but it wasn't until his mum called him that confirmed it. Turns out she was nearby when Lauren pulled me aside and ironically was actually wearing a yellow gold dress and tore him a new one about letting Lauren treat me like that. Dan didn't have a solution when he called, I could tell he was emotionally exhausted and pretty defeated. He said he wished I had taken it out on the open bar rather than leaving. But he understood why I left. He thanked me for taking the high road, and that it hasn't gone unnoticed. He apologized for what happened. Apparently this is an ongoing fight between him and Lauren. For all of those who said Lauren just hates me, it turns out it's 100% true. Apparently she has been trying to convince Dan to cut me off because that's what a good husband does. He said he thought she had gotten over it now that they were married. I told him that he needs to focus on his happiness, and that I will always be here to support him and that I will take a step back if that's what he needs. They were supposed to leave for their honeymoon yesterday, but when Dan called they were still at home, so who knows. I've blocked Lauren and her mum and forwarded the messages to Dan as recommended. Thanks again everyone for your comments and judgment. New update. So it's been a couple of months and a bit has happened, the situation seemed to resonate with quite a few people so I thought I would provide a final update. Thank you to everyone who has messaged, it did help me feel a little less crazy during this time. And to the person who let me know I can simply post an update here, thank you I had no idea how this all worked. So, Lauren ended up finding the post on TikTok and was understandably pissed. She called me from Dan's phone and started screaming at me, saying I had ruined her wedding and that I knew what I was doing wearing a dress like that to the wedding. After the initial shock of expecting Dan and getting Lauren screaming I yelled, what kind of dress? The same cut that Amy wore. Someone else has worn the same dress but in a different color. F key I just can't win with you. Dress nicely and I'm out to get you, dress casually and I'm taking the piece s. I've tried so hard with you but I'm done. And hung up. I messaged Dan I clearly can't be in your life with everything the way it is right now. Good luck, I'll always be a call away. Before blocking the number which broke my heart. That was three months ago and I didn't hear anything except from Dan's mother saying Lauren wouldn't stop complaining about me and life continued. In this time I also discovered I'm pregnant. Me and hubby made a post a couple of weeks ago announcing this which is on its way to Dan, turned up at my front door a few days after. We talked over many drinks on his end and mocktails on mine. He told me that he always thought it was the right thing to do to listen to your partner's boundaries and insecurities, and that Lauren has a lot of body image issues which resulted in her being suspicious of other women. So he thought the right thing was to support her, but he got lost in setting his own boundaries when it came to how she controlled his interactions with his friends. He said the whole situation forced him to think about her boundaries and her own personal standards and saw that they consistently contradict each other. Like, she believes, rightly so, that women are allowed to wear whatever they feel comfortable in. But she would complain that I was unreasonable for wearing bikinis to family beach days because it was inappropriate. Dan also realized she was trying to cut out his sister and literally every woman in his life, including his boss, insisting he get another job. By the time he had heard about my pregnancy, he told me he didn't want to be an absent friend through this and so had a serious conversation with Lauren. 
I won't go into details, but the result was that they are currently separated and both in therapy. Dan asked Lauren to move out and she is currently staying with her mom who is apparently convinced I am the devil. Whilst I am sad for Dan's relationship having to end like this, I am happy to see that he is starting to learn what a healthy relationship is and that he will be able to be my friend through my pregnancy. My husband is excited to have his gaming buddy back. I reached out to Lauren with Dan's permission, letting her know I'm here to session if she felt like it would help, but I haven't received a response yet and maybe that's for the best. I can't help but feel bad on some days because I know that a lot of this is born from insecurity, but I'm trying to focus on the positives that both of them are in therapy, and hopefully we'll move on to bigger and better things. I'm sorry if this update is a bit scattered as well, pregnancy brain has been hitting me hard. This update has been read and approved by Dan. OP's comment, thank you, we are very excited. And while I can't talk to Lauren's motivations, I do agree that whatever issues you are going through are not an excuse to push unfair boundaries. I am in awe of Dan's strength that he has shown in the last couple of weeks. If they continue their relationship, I know it will be on better terms for both of them. Thank you for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so and hit the notification bell to stay updated with more shocking real-life stories happening around you.